He wanted these young men, as they were coming in to their 12 and 13 years old, and their early teenagers, that's where he wanted to, to influence them and have an impact with them. Colonel's first priority was to build a winning tradition at Fort Worth Country Day. He began with middle school football. You have gotta have everybody participate in your program. We're a small school. If we want a football team, we have to have them all out. I don't care how good they are, how good they are, they have to participate. All the middle school boys were told to be in the locker room after last class to meet the new athletic director and middle school football coach. His persona was as dramatic as his name. I mean, literally, he walked in, he's looking around at us like we're new recruits, and we're looking at him, and everybody's eyes are probably as big as silver dollars. First thing he says is, all right, gentlemen, men, not boys, I want everybody that's not going to play football to come stand up here with me, which means if you weren't going to play football, you had to have the guts to get up and go stand up there with him and completely embarrass yourself that you're not going to play football. Never been talked to like that. Never been told I was going to have to play football. So Ben, our oldest child, when he entered middle school and he came home that, that night, uh, either the first or second day of school, and he said, well, I've got to play football. I was in tears. I didn't think I could play football. Um, it wasn't for everybody. I was, I was scared to death. I said, you don't probably really have to. He said, Dad, you don't understand. He said, that colonel out there says I've got to play football, so I've got to play. 